Welcome to Miikon's Hardware. This video is going to be about Starfield. For the last week I have been playing the game and I have got my opinion. If I look at the game from the developer's point of view, because I am a software developer myself, I can see how much work they have done to implement everything inside the game and to get the game released. But from the gamer's point of view, I'm rather disappointed and the only thing I can say is that Starfield is a loading screen simulator. Nevertheless, this video is going to be about a Xeonify 2697v3 performance and not a Starfield review, so let's go into the test results. To collect all my tests, I am using my newly built Xeon gaming computer, where I have Efi 2697v3, Turbo Boost unlocked, uh, hyperthreading disabled, undervolting is set to minus 70 minus 50 millivolts, I have resizable bar enabled and 32 gigs of DDR4 2133 CL12 memory. The graphics cards is AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT. I am testing 1080p and 1440p screen resolution with the four different presets low, medium, high, and ultra. To be able to compare my test results numbers with hardware unboxed numbers, I have manually disabled FSR with all tested presets. And before I go into the FPS numbers, I need to mention that I tested the new Atlantis City. Yes, there are more interesting locations and probably more demanding locations, but if I want to compare my numbers with hardware unboxed numbers, and I also don't want to spoil too much of the campaign, then a new Atlantis is a good location. Using the low preset at 1080p, we have 61.73 FPS, but honestly, at a low preset, the game looks really bad. At medium graphical preset we have 5464 FPS. At high graphical preset the FPS number drops even further, 4759 FPS. And at the maximum ultra preset we have only 4054 FPS. All in all, Xeonify 2697v3 delivers pretty decent performance here. And if I compare my numbers with hardware unboxed numbers, we can see that EFI 2697v3 delivers very similar performance to Ryzen 5 5600 or 5600X. Let me remind you that hardware unboxed tested with RTX 4090, while I am testing with RX 6700 XT. That's why switching to 1440p, we are getting GPU bottlenecked. And here, at low graphical preset, I have only 5065 FPS. At medium graphical preset is 4657 FPS, and then at high preset is 3948 FPS, and finally, at the maximum preset at 1440p, we get only 3343 FPS. Overall, even though the raw FPS numbers are not too high, I'm kinda surprised with how stable the game is. I did not experience annoying stutters or freezes or lags. Yes, yeah, sometimes here and there something like that happens, but it's nothing to complain about. To conclude this video, I would like to share with you my own experience. So I'm playing the game with a 4K screen and of course RX 6700 XT is not capable enough to render this game at 4K resolution. So I have to use FSR and I need to put render resolution scale to 50%. The rest of the settings I have a mix between medium and high. With this configuration in the same new Atlantis test run, I have 4757 FPS. In general, while playing the game, FPS may go as high as 100 FPS or as low as 30 FPS. It really depends on um, what's going on on the screen and where you are located. But all in all, even though 4K is an extreme resolution for 6700 XT, the game was rather playable and pretty smooth. Of course, I would like to see developers optimizing their games much better, but at least in this case, Starfield is able to use multiple CPU cores. So our good old Xeon EFI 2697v3 still delivers a decent performance and competes with the new CPUs such as Ryzen 5 5600 or 5600X. And that's probably all I can tell about Starfield. If you have some other games in mind that you would want me to test with my uh, Xeon gaming machine, please leave me a comment. Other than that, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, have a great weekend, bye for now.